Hi, this is Jadi, and I want to go through installing one Ubuntu servers. Practically, it's installed as a VPS. What we want to do is prepare it for hosting my friend's project. A little bit background, it's surprising. This is my friend, Vahid Rajaplu, he's a 98% disabled person managing this site. This is a site for buying and selling services about the disabled people like wheelchairs and other things. He's going to move this project to a new platform, so he needs a new server and asks me for help. I decided to record everything and broadcast it for you. English is not my first language, but that's it. Okay, first, what I've got from him is a server, open to server, IP, username, and password. That's all. And the list of things he needs on his server. So let's do it. First, we will SSH to the server. SSH, ah, the user is Rajablu at Vahid. I've just named the server as IP2, keep it secure. Okay, now we are in the server. It's an Ubuntu server. Practically, my expertise in Linux systems, and what I want to show you is how to configure a Ubuntu system, then, add more services to it, then secure it to some extent. It's always about the how secure it is. You don't have 100% secure system. Okay, we are here. First, what I need to do is I will become root. I will use same passwords I had here. When you are using sudo, you have to use your own password. Okay, now I'm root. First thing we do on all systems when it's Debian based like Ubuntu and others, we do apt update. Okay, it's not working. We can ping, so the server is connected to the internet on the outbound. But we cannot resolve yahoo.com. So most probably DNS is not talking. DNS is a service which translates this domain name to the IP. So most probably we don't have this, so the system cannot translate this. On the Linux systems, uh, the DNS uh, is defined at etc result.conf. What is this? I will remove this. We'll add one standard Okay, this tutorial assumes that you know Linux to some extent. It's not a from the beginners. Let's test it now. Apt update. Okay, now it's working. Now we've, we are updating the system for the first time. This should be always your first step. Okay, apt upgrade. Now we'll upgrade. Kernel is updating, so we we'll need a boot. I will do it later. This is what he's asking for. PHP, MySQL, Redis, Git, Supervisor. This is for managing processes. PHP, my admin. Ah, normally you don't need this on a secure server. It can be secure, but less programs means more secure system. So I prefer not to install these things. At the moment, we'll start with the bare minimum. Also, mail server, we don't know what is going to do with his mail server, so I will I have to ask this one. Backup, we'll program it, I will manage it later. Composer is a PHP like a package manager, so I won't install it at the moment because I don't know what he's going to do with the composer. Maybe it's just for, for example, installing image magic. So these are the things I'm going to install on the first step. Before this, I will add my own user, okay, so this will be more secure, it's better if each person logins with his own or her own uh, user. So, the install is going on, what I can do is starting a new server, new browser, and continue from there, although I think when this is done, that will be done too. SSH, Rajablu, 
let's see if I'm faster. Okay, we're a few seconds ahead. Okay, I want to add a user for myself. I will do user add judge. It's always good to try add user first. User add is the main one. Sometimes add user is more uh, user friendly. It will ask for your new password, everything. Okay. Okay, full name, room name, work phone, home phone, other. Is this information correct? Yes. I have the user Jody in the system now. What I have to do is I have to give it administration privilege, root privilege. On the different systems under Linux, you have one group. Whoever is part of that group can do sudo. So what I will do is I user mode add to group where to the sudo user Jody. Okay, it works. So normally, if I switch to the Jadi, I should be able to So now I can log in with Jadi This is my password, so I'm in, if I do sudo su, I give my own I have root privilege, one step forward But there is a nice trick on the Linux systems I always add my private key there, so I don't need to like give my password every time for the login. SS on the SSH key, if you don't have a key, you should first run the key gen. I have my key, so I will with copy ID. Where on the Jadi at Wahid. Since my user on my computer is Jadi, I don't need to type Jadi anymore. Okay, it says I'm checking your keys. Now it will try to copy my key there. So hopefully I should be able to log in without providing a password. But this is about the configurations. Still it's not happening. Maybe we need to uh, generate keys here too. So I will go with SSH. Key gen. I will generate a key here. These are RSA keys for encryption, no password. Okay, now it has a key. Still needs a password. Okay, we'll forget this one and we'll solve it later. Okay. On the open source systems, we use apt to install software apt install php for example it says okay i'm going to install php 7 he asked for php 7.1 but i will install 7 at the moment if we really need for 7.1 we will upgrade later the reason is it's always better to stick with the stick with the software provided by your own repositories not to install from some other source or compile from the source, whatever. It's better to stick with the main one. So we'll go with 7. If he really needs 7.1, we will upgrade later. Okay, MySQL, apt install, MySQL server. As you can see, I know the names, so it makes it easier for me. If you don't know the name, it says, okay, root user, Okay, see the problem? Each time I'm starting installing something, I have to wait. There is a trick for this. A program called Tmux. Tmux can split your window in two and everything. It's a little bit complicated, but it's good to learn it. Apt install Tmux. Ah, Tmux is already installed. So I will run Tmux. See? Something has changed. Now I'm in a kind of a more intelligent uh, terminal. So let's install Redis. What happens if I don't know what is Redis? I can do apt search Redis. It will show me all the possible solutions. 
I will pipe this to the less, so we will give the output to the less command, so the less will show it page by page. Ah. Ah. App search Redis. Says okay, bubble, bubble, dash, bird, bird. I'm looking for the main Redis, so E R L O P Q R Redis. Okay, it is called Redis Server. This is what should be installed. This is how you find what should be installed if you know, if you don't know it. Okay, so same thing is happening. It's a very small box. Practically, I didn't use the Tmux yet. But being Tmux, it's cool. Apt install git. I can add more. Supervisor. Super tab will autocomplete. Okay, it's then it's PHP and image magic. Apps install PHP. Ah, PHP is also installed, sorry. Already installed. What we need is image magic. Let's search for it. App search image magic. See, I pushed Ctrl B, then page up to go to the previous pages. I just want to show you that we have one image magic, but different programming languages have different libraries for it. So this is the main image magic. But what I need is PHP image magic. So let's see if we have it. PHP image magic. Oh. So apt install PHP image magic. It automatically installs image magic common. This is dependencies. When I'm installing something, it will install whatever is needed for it to be run. So at the moment, we installed all the softwares he needed. We omitted PHP MyAdmin because it's only is going to use if he's only going to use this for creating a new database. There is no reason to install a software for it. I can just create the database and give him the credentials. Mail server, we have to ask what it wants to do. And Composer, it's a package manager for PHP. Let's first ask what he needs from the Composer. If he really is going to use it, if he's really going to use it, okay, we'll install it. But if it's about just installing a couple of packages, it's better to install from the app itself. I believe he will need one web server. Apt install Apache a web server so I will add it here unless he later says I wanted Nginx or something else and we can change it, no problem and I'm not sure if he's going to install the system by SSH or something, but I think he's going to use FTP, if that's the case we need something like a VSFTPD but let's ask about it later, now we have a ready system, I'm not sure if we need Uh, grep slash r grep can search inside the files of a directory. When you say r, it will do recursive, it will check even inside the directory. So I will go with grep dash r uh, magic. Okay, extension image magic is also installed. I was thinking maybe it's needed to be done separately. So at the moment we are good. We will have more configurations. We will need to connect PHP to the Apache and different things. But let's first tell him that we've done this. Now, now you go forward and see what you need. Just come back and I will record the other videos. Hope you like this.